What's up, everybody? My name is Chris. Welcome back to Underworld Games. We've got a couple of exciting things to talk about today, but first of all, happy Friday. Look at this playmat. This playmat is, is gorgeous. I've got a couple more playmats from Amy Brown. If anybody happens to know Amy Brown, tell her I said, job well done. I've grabbed up as many of these as I could get from the LGS here, Miniature Market in St. Louis. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, this is the third one in the collection. To my knowledge, she hasn't done any uh, magic cards, but somebody needs to somebody needs to talk to Wizards. Secondly, Open Boosters just opened a box of Zendikar collectors for the channel. So if you don't follow Open Boosters, you need to go follow Open Boosters. Amazing, amazing channel. The link will be in the description to that video. <clears throat> so you guys that have been with me for a while, go over there, give that video some love, leave some comments. Those guys that are new and gals from Open Boosters, welcome, welcome. We have a lot of fun. Uh, Mondays, we do Masterpiece Mondays. I open pre-release kits, searching for lottery cards. Wednesdays, we do a random shuffle. And Fridays, I'm thinking about mixing it up a little bit. I think on Fridays, we're going to start to do uh, fat packs. You know, right here, I've got a Fate Reforged and a 2014. That's what I've got on hand right now. Of course, we always got more stuff coming. It's hard to keep stuff in stock <clears throat> and on hand when you're always opening stuff. And, of course, on Fridays, we do giveaways. And I apologize if I missed some of you new guys. I had probably already recorded this video by the time you got here. But these are the guys that left comments throughout the week. Big Boss Ross, Adam, Tenegal, MTG Nichols, The Chaos Within, and Natronimus. And this is a double prize. So every Friday, send out a prize bundle based on comments throughout the week. <clears throat> we'll get into that game here in a little bit. Um, I figure we got two fat packs. Let's do this true underworld game style right here. And I'm going to roll the dice. Okay. Let's go even and odd. All right. Even and odd. We got odd 19. So we're going to be opening up core 2014 today. Maybe next week we can do the fate reforged. Maybe next week I'll have, uh, I'll have something else. Maybe we'll have to roll again. Maybe that Fate Reforged box will uh, survive for a few weeks. Let's stay tuned to see. <clears throat> so, Open Boosters is a great channel. The reason I reached out to them to sponsor that Zendikar Rising opening uh, was because I feel... Oh, who remembers these? I wish they still made these. I really do. I'm not going to waste a lot of time looking through this, but these books, I wish they still made these books. But the reason I opened, I reached out to uh, Open Boosters is because I believe, just like he believes, that opening is priceless. You know, we can go out and purchase all the singles we want all day, but there's just something special. Man, I wish they would still include these. They made them a little bit bigger so we could put sleeve decks in them. Those are cool, though. Those are very cool. Let me get rid of all this. And this box, man, this Chandra box is awesome. That's just gorgeous. All right, moving on. But, yeah, I believe opening is priceless. And uh, there's just something special about finding something in a pack, the thrill of opening it. So that's why we do what we do. That's why we crack packs. That's why we crack packs. So, I don't think I've ever opened a 2014 uh, fat pack before. So, this is kind of neat. I definitely keep the box. We got this dice here, M14. That's kind of nice. <clears throat> and I don't. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me. Let's just knock everything over. What do you guys say? So, 
That'll be the last time that that probably happens because in the mail tomorrow, I'm receiving the, the other um, camera holder. So hopefully that won't ever happen like that again. This tripod is kind of cumbersome. It's kind of in the way. Um, I'm not going to open this. I'm not going to open this. I assume this is all basic land. Should I open it? it? Looks like I already cut it, so let's take a peek in here and see what we got in here, shall we? This looks like all land. Yeah, this is all land, so we don't really need to go into that too much. <clears throat> With all the Zendikar Rising and Double Masters and this and that and all this other stuff, I thought it might be fun to, uh, to mix it up a little bit. And these cards... Oh, yeah. I'm going to slow roll these a little bit. Fog. Classic spell. Troll Hide. Caspian Knight. Vile Rebirth. Messenger Drake. What is that? Sensory Deprivation. What? Wait a minute. Upside down. Okay. Spore Mound. Oromancer. Cockatrice. We're under the Uncommons, Briar Pack Alpha, Molten Birth, Elixir of Immortality. It's a great artifact, man. Great artifact. It's like a Feldon's Cane with life gain. And our rare is Savage Summoning. Now, I don't remember what's good in this set and what's not. So, if I miss something, <laughs> don't be too hard on me in the comments, all right? Don't be too hard on me in the comments. All right, let's slow roll another pack, and then we can get down the brass tacks of it. Pitch Burn Devils. We already had you, Drake. Siege Mastodon. Mark of the Vampire. Blur Sliver. Pacifism. Great spell. Pardon me. Enchantment. <laughs> Elvish Mystic. <clears throat> the Lanamore Elf. Okay. Shrivel. Tenacious Deed, Singir Vampire. That's a great spell. I like the original artwork better, but that's okay. So it's a Hurricane and Witch Stalker. We did get a foil. Sliver, Burr Sliver. We'll make a we'll make a foil pile. Burr. It's actually a Blur Sliver. <laughs> okay. Does anybody else out there like corsets? What do you guys think about what's going on right now? They just said a couple years ago we're not going to print any more corsets. And then now all of a sudden they release the schedule for next year. And we don't have corsets again. So what's going on? Do we like corsets? Do we not like corsets? Dragon Hatchling. Spell Blast. Shimmering Grotto. Bramble, Bramble Crush. Guardian of the Ages, Defender. Attack, Guardian, Planeswalker Control. Ages has Defender. It loses Defender and gains Trample. Interesting. I don't know if that's worth anything. Ah, Garouk. <laughs> so, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Hope y'all had a wonderful day. There's another sliver. Minotaur. Thunderstrike. Let's move a little bit faster. Or you guys want me to slow roll these and just enjoy them. <clears throat> there goes an announcement on my phone. I don't know if you guys heard that. Battle sliver. Looks like there's a lot of... Oh, man. Now I know what that is. That's nice. I'm actually building an artifact deck right now. So that, that's going to go straight into my artifact deck. That's nice. Pack Fresh, Dark Steel Forge, M14. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yes. I think I've ever pulled the Dark Steel Forge. Naturalize. I'm just going to slow roll all of them. We'll just let this video roll. There's another sliver. I didn't realize there were so many slivers in M14. Duress. Great spell. Giant Growth. Always love the Giant Growth. 
Taiga, Curdate, turn two, giant growth. Anybody? No? Okay. <laughs> Cockatrice. Wild guess. Corrupt. Banisher Priest. Staff of the Mind Magus. Indestructibility. What does this do? Enchanted Enchanted Permanent has Indestructible. Let's put that on our Dark Steel Forge. Oh man. I'm sure that would that would just devastate your opponent. Yeah, I'm gonna cast Indestructibility on my Dark Steel Forge. But the way this is written, it doesn't say I guess this makes all your artifacts have indestructibility. Hmm. Because it doesn't say other artifacts, it says artifacts. Interesting. I didn't remember that. Lay of the land. Soul Mender. Spirit. Show of Valor. Maybe we'll call this uh, Fat Pack Fridays. And then we can squeeze in booster boxes when we have new sets. And maybe we find something. There's another sliver. I always thought that art was cool. I wouldn't mind having that on a play mat. That's just awesome. You know, we can squeeze in boxes here and there. And Wild Ricochet. We choose new targets for target instant. Or, so it's a fork. Okay. So it's a fork for two more mana. Oh no, it's a redirect and a fork. Okay, that's kind of cool. Blood Baron Shock. Who doesn't like shock? It's shocking, isn't it? Demolish, Giant Spider, Wild Guess, Blightcaster, we already had that, oh, very cool, okay, work with me here, camera, Scourge of Valkus, I love my dragons, another dragon enters the battlefield and control, it is X damage chart creature, where X is the number of dragons you control. Oh man, <clears throat> that's madness. I have this red dragon deck and it does two things. It creates mana <clears throat> and it drops dragons. My favorite turn one is turn one, mountain, soul ring, fire diamond, pass the turn. Turn two, play land. That gives you one, two, three, four, five mana. Turn two, Covetous Dragon. No? You guys try that out sometime. See how many opponents give you that crazy look. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow! Okay. Now if you're going to have duplication, boys and girls... This is the kind of duplication we want. Oh, man. That's tough. Wow. All right. All right. I can definitely work with that. Let's see what else we got here. Festering Newt. Diversion. Time Ebb. Smelt. Bye-bye. Artifact. Valor. Chandra's Outrage. Giant Growth. Griffin. There's another sliver. Vampire Warlord. Staff of the Flame Magus. And the last one is Mind Sparker. Elemental First Strike. Whenever an opponent casts a white or blue instant or sorcery. Huh. Does two damage. And it looks like we might have a foil in here. No. No foil. That's all right. That's all right. <clears throat> well, since some of you guys know, I have a shipment that's lost in the mail. And uh, last Friday, was it last Friday? I think it was last Friday. We did the, the highest converted mana cost game. So this Friday, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, we're just going to do process of elimination. So the double prize thing, the way that works is I usually send out a stack of booster packs, you know, four to six packs or whatever. Um, sometimes, you know, you might comment on something. Oh, I really like that, that blur sliver. 
you know, I, I read the comments. I may not respond to all of them. Maybe I'll sneak something out, something like that in there out of the comments. So, you know, leave me a comment. That's how you get in on these. And then, you know, this, this, this game is about sharing to me. It's about the enjoyment of the game. So, right now, while we're still small, we can do smaller groups. But if we get to the double prize, so I'm going to mix these up. And I'm going to pick one at random. And I'm just going to eliminate it. And we're going to keep doing that until we're down to the last man standing. Um, we'll just have some fun with it. And actually, you know what? <clears throat> Natronimus, you won last week and you agreed to sit out. So, we'll take you out real quick. I apologize for that. You know, I just want to have some fun while we're still small. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to keep getting better and better at this. So let's get rid of this one. I'm sorry. Dang it, Adam. Bro, I got nothing but love for you, man. One of these days. One of these days. All right, let's get rid of this one. The double prize. Well, that one's off the table. So we got four cards left. Four cards left. Round and round they go. Where it stops, nobody knows. This one. Big Boss Ross. That's okay. You already won a couple times. So we're down to three. We got Nichols, Chaos Within, and Tenegal. All right. Mix these up real good here. All right. All right. All right. And let's get rid of this one. MTG Nichols. Well, neither one of you gentlemen has won one of these from me yet. <clears throat> so let's take this beautiful M14 dice we got here and let's just play the odd even game even odd even odd all right shake it up for good luck even odd even Tenegal emails in the description you send me an email um, I'm pretty sure I have your shipping address already because you won that, you actually won that giveaway on, uh, Instagram that I did. So, and actually I apologize to you guys. I'm behind on my shipping. I haven't shipped anything out last week. You guys, some of you guys know my dad was in the hospital, been super busy trying to get back in the swing of things behind at work, behind in life, so forth and so on. But I've got a stack of stuff here that I, uh, that I have to send out to you guys. So this will be going in the mail in a couple days. I'll get you guys taken care of. And uh, Tenegal, I will add to your, your package the winnings for this week. So, got nothing but love for you guys. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you tuning in. If you've been with the channel for a while, I appreciate you guys too. I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon. And uh, until next time, you guys take care. Take care of your family. Take care of each other. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.